Shia's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaf's a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf. So Eden sank to grief, so dawn goes down to day. Nothing gold can stay. How's it going boys and welcome to a very quick FNAF merchandise update video. Cloak Legit just dropped their wave 2 of their FNAF merch, so I thought I'd go over it quickly for all you guys. Of course, I'm wearing my Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Beanie from uh, Wave 1. They do have more beanies for this wave. They have more shirts, pants, hoodies, and overall just a lot of more miscellaneous items. Like water bottles, puzzle sets, freaking kazoos. So again, I thought I'd go over them very quickly for all you guys who may have missed this announcement. So without further ado, let's take a look at Wave 2 of the FNAF X Cloak collaboration. So this new group of merchandise for Cloak and FNAF is called the Nothing Gold Can Stay Wave. And it mainly focuses on Gold and Freddy, but it does have other merchandise with the original gang, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Personally, I really like this wave. I don't think I'll buy anything because honestly this hat by itself was really, really expensive. But besides the price, I think this merchandise is pretty alright. So the first three I have up on screen right now are the Crop Tea, the Muscle Tea, and the Tea Banana. Yep, that is actually what it's called. They all have Withered Golden Freddy from FNAF 2 on the FNAF 1 camera feed. I'm not sure why they went with FNAF 2 Golden Freddy to be in the FNAF 1 camera feed, but I don't know. For some reason, Scott tends to favor Withered Golden Freddy over FNAF 1's normal Golden Freddy for some reason. But yeah, he's on the camera. He has Cloak uh, faded over him, so you know that it is Cloak. Definitely a lot less subtle than some of the other merchandise from the previous wave, but again, I think it looks alright. The prices for all of the merchandise are going to be shown on screen uh, when I show the images so you guys know the prices. Also, there are a lot of sizes for the t-shirts, for the pants, all that stuff, so if you want to go see what sizes there are, I won't be providing them in this video because there's a lot. So if you do want to check out the sizes, you can go to the site using the link in the description. I should also mention that I'm not sponsored by Cloak, um, <laughs> I just thought I'd let you all know because this is, you know, a brand new wave of popular FNAF merchandise. You know, the first wave of FNAF and Cloak sold out within the first, like, couple of hours, so you better act fast if you want this. Moving down, we have the tee black, we also have the hoodie black, as well as the midi white. So the tee and the hoodie have the exact same design as the previous items, but the midi, midi, honestly I have no clue how to say that. Uh, it has 1987, of course referring to the bite of 87, and then it has FNAF and cloak. Then you have the black cloak that has the same design, you have the black joggers that have the same design, but instead of saying 1987, they say nothing gold can stay. The apron has the exact same design as the tees that we looked at previously. There's a white chef's hat that says cloak FNAF on it. There's a puzzle set um, with the same design as the tees. There's a black journal that says nothing gold can stay, 1987 FNAF and cloak. And then clearly the best part about this entire collection, the kazoos, right? <laughs> they come in gold and red and they say cloak FNAF. And then we come across the most wanted crop tee. It has a really complex design, right? It's got the main four gang, Chica, Foxy, Bonnie, as well as Freddy. It says Cloak and FNAF in big letters. It has Most Wanted, and then it also has a reward. For 100,000 Faz tokens, you have another black T that has the heights uh, as FNAF instead of actual numbers. I honestly think that's pretty funny. Uh, and then it, of course, has Cloak across the front as well. You have a red version of the Most Wanted T we just looked at. There was a Most Wanted Cloak, so instead of saying 1987, it has the design of the Most Wanted T on the back. You have a black and red hoodie with the Most Wanted designs. You have a white crew with the Most Wanted design. Then you've got some black joggers that say Cloak and Five Nights at Freddy's on the other side. You've got the beanies back, you got the red and black caps that say cloak, and I'm guessing they probably say FNAF on the back. Exactly says FNAF on the back, wow. <laughs> I can't see the back side of them when I hover over their image, so I actually have to go into the uh, specific page for that item to see it, but that's a pretty good guess. You've got a puzzle with the most wanted design, and then of course you have a water bottle with the most wanted design. And that is all of the items right now. 
The people walking at Cloak asked you to keep in mind because of the pandemic that it may take 10 to 12 days for your order to be processed and then be shipped out. And if you have any issues with your order, you can reach them at support at cloakbrand.com. And overall, that is wave two of Cloak uh, and the FNAF crossover. Overall, pretty good. I will say I do like it a lot. Again, I don't think I'll buy anything um, because, you know, prices and everything. Like, Cloak, Cloak is a very expensive brand. You guys gotta keep that in mind. But just like last time, just like the first wave, I'm guessing that these are most likely going to be selling out very fast, so if you do want to get them, you should probably act fast. Another thing that I just looked at is the Gold Kazoo. is called the FNAF Cassidy Kazoo Gold. So that, that basically confirms Cassidy is in Golden Freddy. You boy hiding lore inside a fucking kazoo? But yeah, anyways, keep in mind that these are all very limited supply. So again, if you do want to get them, you gotta act fast, real fast. Again, I'm not sponsored, I just thought I'd inform you guys. Because most people probably don't keep up to date with the FNAF merchandise news, so again, I thought I'd let you guys know. So that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Later today, we have the FNAF AR Special Delivery Update. I'm very excited for that. That is going to be the final character in the Sizzling Summer event. I have no clue who it's going to be. I'm kind of hoping for Balloon Boy. Hot Air Balloon Boy. I think that'd be funny. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.